All right. Hello and welcome to the Business Accelerator series number one. Today we'll be talking about um, speed of creation with our business. And, you know, a lot of people, most of us tend to hold back. Uh, we have a whole lot of ideas about how, what all we'd like to create in our business and we just tend to hold back because sometimes we think we don't have enough information or we don't have the right things in place or um, not the right people to contribute to us right now. So we just keep on holding ourselves back and hesitating. So this, these calls is the beginning of, um, you know, I just thought that let's do something where in whichever way I can contribute to each one of you and your business, whether or not you're choosing a class with me, um, this is just some, in my way of contributing to your business and to you guys. And uh, hi, Mamta. And uh, so I was just thinking of a great name for this. And then we came up with the Business Accelerator series. So these series will be either um, bi-weekly, every 15 days, or it'll be every week, depending on whenever I have some info to share. So just looking forward to that. So this is your space to interact with me. This will, these will be very interactive calls. There'll be spaces for you guys to answer, ask your questions. It's not about personal facilitation, but before you ask a question, ask if, it, if that question will contribute to everyone and then just go with your awareness. So there will be places where I will facilitate you. There'll be places where it might not really be necessarily be about personal facilitation. It's more about giving you information and of course, seeing where you guys are and what is keeping you stuck. So I'd love for you guys to be able to uh, interact and let me know where you guys keep getting stuck, what stops you from creating. So let, let me just open it up with that. What actually stops you from creating your business? So all of you have some, must be having some really brilliant ideas, but what really stops you from taking that step, taking that big leap, Anyone wants to unmute and speak? Uh, Smriti, yes, can Anil. I start? Uh, because uh, after doing, getting out of joy, uh, Dep, uh, getting, getting out of debt, joyfully, uh, I was able to produce results for two months perfectly. But okay. again, I stopped it doing, uh, oh, din ka gap, then teen din ka gap. That's because now, you don't have me to remind you anymore because the series I've <laughs> got over. That's why. No, no, no. I understand. But how to keep that in existence is my question. <laughs> because, it's just a choice, Anil. It's just a choice. Because I have produced fantastic results in 60 days, the, my first uh, 60 days. And dot I used to do, like uh, bell rings, I used to get, um, see, do it and get the result the whole day. And after knowing this, still gap gaya. So now I will make some things to be in existence of so that. How much did you start creating based on how people around you were creating? Uh, in terms of finance? In terms of everything. What happens is we start getting affected by how people around us are creating. So if their points of view are, if they're not really choosing more for themselves or they're not choosing big for themselves, sometimes we start uh, going with that. Uh, um, so, firstly, I choose and I got one contract worth 2 crores, 75 lakhs, or to 2, 3 crores. And that was very easily. Whereas my competitors were struggling to get the same contract so, at a lower rate. So what's the issue right now? You're not you're not getting more contracts or what? No, no, what no, no, where no. do you I, find yourself stuck? No, no, I have got a sufficient contract, but uh, to uh, speed up the contracts, I'm not doing any ball exercise because firstly I did and I used to get the result. Okay, so, and a, so then that's again a choice, not choosing to do the energy ball exercises again, a choice. Mm -hmm. Secondly, sometimes you just know, like, you know, the past um, month and a half, except for creating the talk to the entity, the forest retreat that we had gone for, which was, which was amazing and phenomenal. Um, I've not really created any classes, but I wanted that break. I wanted that time for myself. I was out for about 12 days in Sikkim just on a biking ride, just enjoying and just being, I was not even interacting with many people over there, but I was just, just 
being that space. So sometimes you don't have to judge yourself. You know that you'll create when you choose to create. So in, ca in case uh, you're not creating right now, or if you're judging yourself for not doing those energy ball exercises that I mentioned, it's okay. Give yourself that break and then start again. Okay, don't judge yourself for that. Yes, got it. Right, and what are you aware of? And I'm, also, where are you satisfied with the the two point two crore something uh, I'm, contracts I'm, that you've got? I am extremely satisfied because yes. I got so, the contract. So, so when you hundred. when you choose to be satisfied, then you stop choosing more. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, that exactly I was going to tell you because I got it what I wanted, and I finished as if I oh, race khatam ho gaya. I won huh. the medal. Uh, next year. So now the time to start choosing bigger. Ooh. So what bigger races can you be part of? Right. Everything that doesn't allow that. Everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, no, be, receive and choose that with total ease. Will you now destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Please, right, wrong, good, bad, what, pop, online shots, boys and beyonds. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Anil. Thank you for this. Thank you. Who said? I said. Nisha. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shilpa. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. That was such an awesome I, clip. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Smriti ma'am and everyone, uh, now Shirdi temple is opening. So I request, my humble request to everyone, you fix a date and come as much as number you want. Just tell me the type of food you eat because that will be the only one issue with me. Rest, I can handle everything. And, uh, awesome. And we'll, for the, if 15 people are there only, Darshan in one we'll, hour. We'll hire yes. a big bus and come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no issue, no issue. And you don't have to worry anything regarding stay, no, nothing, nothing, food, nothing. Only Darshan, if people more than 50, you know, it will take time. Can I Thank, you. Thank you for the offer. Yeah, yeah. We visit Shirdi every month. Oh, very good, very every nice. Every month. To so, uh, yes. Can I get, could you, could I get your number, please? Yes. yes. Can you guys carry on this conversation on later, a personal later, but message? Just, I yes. just have a chance yes. to speak this one. Yes. Sorry. Definitely. Nanil, you can write your number on the chat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, All right. So yeah. who else? What? Uh, somebody wrote clients. Who is it? Yes, Nishita. Yes. Sarita, hi. Yes, Nishita. What, what is your issue with clients? How to get more clients. How to even get clients? Yeah. What happens when you try? How do you try to get clients? Word of mouth or through people. It's like okay. they come, I talk, and it's like, okay, we will come, we will decide something, and then that. Sometimes people come, and then that. So what secret agendas do you have with pushing clients away? So, okay, let me give my example. Uh, sometimes when I give examples, it helps people understand and uh, relate to where, how we keep pushing away clients. So when I first um, attended my Joy of Business class, okay, with a phenomenal facilitator, she's no longer part of Access, but she, she used to be brilliant. I used to really admire her a lot. And um, I told her, I said, I seem to just keep talk my clients out of attending classes with me. And uh, I feel, you know, I start going into, how, will they be even able to afford this class? Is it better if they choose someone else? Or maybe they should go to a CF because that time I was just a bus facilitator. Maybe a CF will be able to do justice to whatever they're choosing. And, you know, but all that was because of self-doubts. Not because I didn't know that I was good enough. I knew I was good, but somewhere, I would, um, I wasn't willing to be judged. So I wasn't willing to open up to that space where I give anyone a reason to judge me. So if nobody chooses to attend a class with me, they don't have any reason to judge me. So we can all be in our own comfort zones and no judgments and you're just cozy and good, right? So that is what something you'll have to get out of. Second thing was when I chose to be a joy business facilitator, and then um, there was this time where um, in Access, they, I was part of the hub and there 
they have a media where they will the media will represent you or they will promote you okay so i there was a interview with one of those media houses and so i didn't know what to talk about myself they said write about yourself and i just had no clue what to write about myself because that was the most uncomfortable space for me to talk about myself or even see and acknowledge anything good about me and i was like okay i mean i'm i'm just a bus facilitator right now uh, when i did the joy of business first class okay is when my facilitator got to know that i'm also a pilot and then i'm into adventure sports and then i'm i am also an artist and then she's like where are all these things hidden right why doesn't anyone know this about you and i was like but they will think i'm a jack of all trades and master of none so i'd rather not talk about all these things so she just said one thing she said do you realize with me that there's a sense of adventure with whatever you are being and choosing so why aren't you putting that out because someone who's looking for that kind of a space will definitely choose you and that's when she um asked me to write something like add all these things to my uh to the what is it that access uh, thing just just a profile um, profile page just add all these things and i was like the moment i did that of course i started getting a lot of uh, clients just with that just with that small little thing okay now um, one more thing so when i when those guys from the media house called up and they were talking to me and uh, i just didn't know what to talk about myself i didn't know what to write so then um, she started asking me questions what do you like what are your hobbies what was your childhood like and just randomly she was asking me a lot, a lot a whole lot of things and i told her okay i've done flying and i've done scuba diving and this and that and a whole lot of things i started just generally chatting with her and that's when she created that introduction for me and when i read that i was like really am i all these things so yeah somebody just wrote imposter syndrome so these are the things right you think you're no good but the whole world can see the brilliance of you so my question to you nishita is where are you not willing to see your own brilliance where are you sending away or pushing away your own, your clients who can actually who you can actually contribute to when i said that that's what came up and like am i being enough like will i be able to give this person enough like will i satisfy the customer that way so that went Because- into like the self sabotage and maybe that's what she is right so what you're being the energy you're putting out is what uh what other the clients are picking up okay and then they feel oh this person is not sure about herself and they'll end up choosing someone else it's the doubt basically. the doubt is what they pick up you know you will come across certain people who are just so confident they're like yes we will create this change for you and all that whether they will or not is immaterial but they they just sound so confident and automatically you tend and end up choosing that same person because you're looking for some sort of change and you know that this person will guarantee that it's just that so no matter what's going on within you acknowledge that you have the power and potency to create that change for people to hold that space for them to be that space where they get to choose more for themselves and that's all you need to focus on you have to acknowledge the gift that you are for people to be able to choose it to choose you and sometimes also get vested in the outcome of the session like i hope yeah. it will be this for that person and then i get stuck if i feel so when you're too vested in the outcome um what happens is you end up getting caught up in the quantum entanglements of what those people are not choosing and all the reasons and justifications to why they can't choose and then you end up creating similar situations for yourself and this happens naturally with relationships if you're trying to sort out relationships for people and it happens majorly with respect to money so just know that you be that space for them with no point of view okay but you do not get to choose for them because the moment you start choosing for people who are not willing to actually choose for themselves is when you are going down the rabbit hole with them so you need to be a little um, aware of that and see see what exactly is happening right 
people think about you and people uh, you know speak about you and when you get entangled in their talk you get get stuck so uh, can you just elaborate like a little bit on that i'll just tell you my uh, you know a challenge which i have i have uh, you know uh, you know the clientele inquiries are there everything is going good as per the work is concerned the problem is i'm not able to do justice to the work so i am procrastinating and delaying the work because i have a reason that i shifted to new house i have lots of things to set i have to do this i have to do that so i give reasons for uh, you know delaying the appointments and delaying the uh, you know to interact with the client so uh, i don't know what is stopping me from uh, and it's not that that i don't have time smriti i have ample of time i can manage things also but still somewhere something is stopping me and uh, uh, also in the bit in the space uh, when i'm because i have come to a new space i have also attracted uh, people who are envying lots of things which i see it that uh, you know they are not talking to me nicely they are not behave and my own family near dear ones whom i had stayed with them for 24 years so all these things are getting attracted and is affecting my business also because i'm not doing justice to the clients who have already paid me so uh, can you just elaborate uh, more on uh, not getting affected by what others are thinking on that because i'm i'm actually sarita there's a very simple tool who does it belong to send it all back to the sender with consciousness attached and uh, another tool which is interesting point of view they have this point of view that's all right what's the value of being affected being the effect of other people's opinion and their judgments you know how to deal with it right sometimes we tend to forget and we like we just get when when things are just showing up so dynamically we tend to get really overwhelmed we forget all the basic tools that we have access to right best thing is to zoom out take a bird's eye view and look at it okay cool does this even matter does this person's opinion even matter to me people will judge you to stop you so if you're choosing to be the effect of that and you're allowing their judgments to stop you what are you choosing and what's the value of choosing that what do you love about that everything that is times a godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all please right from good bad pop pop all in charge boys and beyonds also um sometimes like it's okay to take a break it's okay what if you get out of judgment if you are taking a little break sometimes your body just requires that because when you take time off when you take time off to rejuvenate to just be and do nothing and just be and be okay with it is when you will come back with a bang with much more information much more details so any time you go into judgment for that ask what energy space and consciousness can i in my body be to create in my slumber and sleep with total ease right where are you not acknowledging that even in your sleep you are creating you are brimming with brilliant ideas okay when you wake up if you remember any of those ideas just make a notebook and just keep writing them down whenever you come across something just keep noting them down do whatever is required the energy pulls or whatever is required right and the main thing each one of you to do is to stopping the effect of other people's opinion that or waiting for them to validate you right because that's not going to lead you anywhere most of them are fraud patrol who are just hell bent on making you wrong for things that they are not willing to choose for themselves and what's the value of choosing that what do you just mentioned that the fraud patrol i didn't get that what did you say yeah most of them are fraud patrol who are not willing to change and they're just willing they're just there to make you wrong to prove you wrong right so, so it's called way. fraud patrol yeah fraud patrol okay thank you cool all right so let me just get started with things yes uh, mamta will go with your question and then maybe that i'll talk about things that i had to talk about go ahead yes smriti as i remember very well when i joined business done different uh, class 6 months uh, one and i still remember every time whenever i have paid you the money installment me i have created it with the magic 
I you have not you have not done business done different with me. No, no, with one one class it was fast track, fast track. Yes, yes, sorry, fast track. I'm so sorry. Fast track your business, yes. Yeah, fast track, and I still remember. Um, next day the date was that ki I have to pay tomorrow to Smriti anyhow, and one hour before I get the money in my from my home only or somewhere from there wherever. Yes. And the third installment came, and I was not. I'm sure you got me sending me, but and and I got money more than that. What I have to what, pay. What is your question? Even after getting money, Smriti, I could not reach you. Um, and that was really. You pain. could not reach me. Yeah, me. Apko, I couldn't pay you. Even after uh, having money. That I'll tell you. I know the reason. The reason is that fast track your business was a very, uh, very dynamic. Class, okay, series of uh, this thing where it involved a um, a call with me every week. Okay, it is about showing up. It is about being out there in the world. It's about choosing and creating more. Somewhere you were there for two months, I think. Right after that, you stopped. That is when you're not willing to choose that change. It was faster change now. Somewhere you were not willing to do that, so you will create issues. With respect to money or people in your family saying why are you doing this or whatever or issues, different issues, different stories, traumas and dramas to stop yourself. But the only person stopping you is you yourself. Sometimes certain classes have such dynamic uh, effect that they really propel you into big league or making bigger choices. And if you do not think you're willing, if so, what happens is you want to choose it, but in your heart of hearts, if you're not willing to take that leap is when you'll stop. You'll only self-sabotage or create all the secret agendas to stop you. Okay? So every... It's not 12,000. I received 30,000 just day before the date I have to pay you. And... I know. As I mentioned, what, where were you not willing to actually choose that change? Where are you looking at slowing yourself down? Everything that is times of God's zillion. Will you destroy and uncreate it all? Please, right, wrong, good, bad, pop, all nine shots, words, and beyond. Can I just ask you one thing? Did you even bother going through the recordings after that? Yes, yes. How often? I can't tell you day and night. I'm okay, telling cool. day and night. It's still, if cool. you see my water is there and I'm, my video audios are running and that water, I drink that water. So what's the value of not choosing that change, that dynamic that that dynamically okay what's what's the value of not choosing to step into big league everything that is times of godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all please right wrong good bad pop pop all and shots boys and beyonds interestingly in that uh, series we covered a whole lot of things it was very detailed very um about money, about a whole lot of other things we discussed. And we are starting again from, I think, end of November. We are starting the fast track your business call number two or whatever. Yes, I'll, I'll be sending out details. I'll also, create a call I wanted for that. to know when I will do, when I will do talk to the entities with Smriti, when I will do fast track to completely. You just have to choose it. The money shows up. If you're looking at uh, the reasons why you can't choose or I will choose something some someday when the money shows up, it doesn't show up like that. You have to choose it and the money shows up. Do you get it? And, and if you think, oh, I'm going to just delay it, maybe I'll choose the next time. So you are only pushing it further. I'm not talking about just you choosing classes with me, for you choosing anything in life. Yes, yes, yes. Suppose I... you're looking at buying a house. The moment you choose a house, the money will start showing up. Everything will start opening up. Path will start opening up. It's just that. It's just the energy that you're being where you're like, this is what I want right now. Interestingly, that's the reason uh, I'm doing a call on speed of creation. So let's talk a little bit about that. All right, I'll lower your hand. Okay. All right, so let's talk about... So most of us, we will look at creating things. We want to create a whole lot of things, but we look for reasons and justification why we can't create, okay? And sometimes it's like, I'm just so full up with no time for creating revenue streams. 
but that's again your point of view i've told you guys be when you go out to have lunch or dinner and when you're filling up a plate with meal especially if you're having a buffet lunch or dinner you usually just fill up only things that you'd like to eat at that time but when it comes to having or choosing from a buffet of creations or revenue streams that you can create or buffet of businesses that you can create i would say keep your big platter full like topped up all the time don't think that i don't have the time to do it or i don't have the resources to do it just keep it totally full because when you are focused on doing uh, all these businesses simultaneously is when you'll create so much more most of us usually say you need to focus on one thing what happens is um you know when you're totally present when you have say multiple things going on simultaneously you have one business that you have to attend to you have to attend a wedding you have to um go attend some meeting with someone and so on there are lots of things lined up okay for a particular in a particular day for you what happens is then you just start focusing on time management and then you focus on giving you're not just filing away time you're not busy browsing the net looking for which which uh, flavor of potato chip you are you know you just focused on the job at hand you're busy with that creation with that particular business and then you know you have to move on to the next one so what happens is when you're doing some uh, running some businesses simultaneously multiple businesses multiple revenue streams when you're creating multiple revenue streams simultaneously you are very present with each one of those and you're able to give your 100% to each one of those not like simultaneously but in a day you have attention to give to every business so when you wake up in the morning ask which one of my businesses requires my attention and energy right now and then just follow the energy your business will talk to you follow the whispers of your business just it will just keep guiding you you'll know suddenly that you need to call up certain people who's part of that particular business then you'll know you need to go for a meeting with this particular person you know you might have made a list of things that you need to do but in the morning when you wake up ask okay which one of uh, these things requires my attention and energy right now what do i need to do right now and then just follow that okay that's what it is what this invites you to is more possibilities more creations not stopping choosing to be limitless being unstoppable and being a force of creation all the time there's no time to doubt yourself there's no time to talk clients out of uh, attending classes with you or uh, choosing your products right because you're so focused on creation so when we as humanoids are mostly uh, sitting at home whiling away time is when we end up creating a lot of crap thinking of a lot of things and focusing on things that are not really relevant that's that's the main thing okay so if you think i'm full up with no time for creating revenue streams what is the point of you creating so everything everywhere you're stopping yourself because of this particular point of view will you not destroy and uncreate it all please right wrong good bad pop pop all in short voice and beyond so what if you were so active that time was irrelevant what if busy was not a word in your vocabulary what would get created then so ask okay who else can i add to my life where do i require my energy today what restructuring of the molecules is required for me to create and actualize all that i'm looking to create and actualize so instead of focusing on the reasons and stories about why you can't choose something ask okay what needs to change here what do i have to be and do to create and actualize this so it's as simple as that what happens is most of us tend to go into judgment oh man i couldn't create the money for this damn it i'm just so pathetic i'm useless i can't even create this much amount of money right what's the value of berating yourself or pulling yourself down don't you think there are a whole lot of people in the world already choosing to do that for you so you don't need to start adding to your your own issues right ask what needs to change here what do i have to be and do what restructuring of the molecules is required 
Anil, maybe that's a good question that you can ask to start choosing more now with your business. Okay, what restructuring of the molecules is required for me to choose more right now from this moment onwards? Right, Nishita, you can also ask, okay, what restructuring of the molecules is required for me to start actualizing and creating and inviting more clients and creating more possibilities with my business? That was the exact what I was thinking when you said that sentence. Yep, so you just connect, okay, let's do that, each one of you. Just connect to whatever businesses you have or whatever you're looking to create and you feel stuck with that, okay? Just lower your barriers, each one of you. For those of you, I think I think most of you have already. Is there anyone who doesn't know what barriers mean? I think I think all of you, anyways, seem to know. Anyways, so one thing at a time. What one business? You can do everything. No, whichever businesses, whichever business you feel stuck with. Okay. So lower your barriers. Barriers are these imaginary walls all around you, which limit or which you we tend to create around ourselves because we don't want to be hurt or we don't want people to judge us. So it's a way of protecting ourselves. So just lower those imaginary walls that you have. Just, just say barriers down. Just command your body barriers down. Okay, and now start expanding. Expand your being to fill the four corners of the room that you are in and then beyond and beyond 10 kilometers all around you and below you and above you. Just keep on expanding your awareness beyond and more and more and out into the universe. Just expand, 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 expand. Okay. And now from that space of awareness, from that expanded space, ask, okay. See, be very present with your businesses. You can work on multiple businesses simultaneously or just one particular business where you're facing that issue. And now ask, okay, be aware, be present with where do you find yourself stuck and ask, okay, what is that one molecule that I need to change? Or what is that one molecule that I need to turn that will create a change? that will manifest as, that will create whatever changes that you're looking for, that will change that issue for you. So what is that one molecule that you need to change and energetically perceive that and just turn it 180 degrees and then turn it 180 degrees again and then turn it 180 degrees again and again and again and again till the energy just lightens up, okay? And then maybe you can be present and say, okay, is there any other molecule that needs to change? What is required here? What, what more awareness and clarity can I have with this? Where am I judging myself with this? What interesting point of view can I be with this particular issue? How much more allowance can I have with this? What do I have to be and do to change that? Okay. And Finally, ask what restructuring of the molecules is required for me to actualize and create all that I'm choosing to create with that business. Okay, and when you're ready, you can be back here. All right, so you need to know that you need to follow the flow of the business just be present with it be connected with it energetically all the time be present with it so even when you're taking that break even when you are um, say going on a vacation or not really uh, around or you're not able to physically give that time but energetically still be connected to your businesses because that's what will create more okay and just know and remember one thing Stop controlling your business because that's one of the main reasons where you will not allow yourself to grow because you're so busy controlling and making sure you're keeping your business small. So you cannot have the need to control and have multiple uh, streams of possibilities and businesses simultaneously. Just know that, okay? So if you're focused on controlling, then you're limiting all that you can be 
doing and choosing for yourself. Everything that brought up, thanks are Godzilla. Will you all just join and create it all, please? Yeah. Life from good, bad, pop, pop, all nature, boys and beyonds. So what else can I add to my life? Keep asking this all the time, every morning. What else can I add to my life? Who else can I add? Sometimes your business requires a new energy. Ask that, okay? So what do you desire to create as your business? Be present with that. Ask, what are those whispers of creations? Be present and then just go and start. Don't look at how you will start. Just, just start. Okay, whatever it takes. So start implementing the first step. Like, I'll give you an example. My mom, okay, she, she of course, she's, she passed away a few years ago, but she used to be a very, very dynamic lady. And uh, she did not have any work experience or any prior work experience. But one day she just decided that I need to do something with my life and I need to start some business, okay? And she's always been into art and uh, very, very creative person. So she was talking to someone and she just out of a, out of a whim, she just decided to pitch for, um, for an advertising project, okay? She didn't own an advertising agency. She had never worked with an advertising agency before, but she just decided to go pitch for some ad, okay? So she hired freelancers to create that ad for her and she got the artwork done and she got the whole thing done and she just went and pitched for that product. And she got that account, she got that account, okay? She didn't know how she would do it. She had nobody working for her. She had no clue how she would fulfill that, but she had got that, she won that account, okay? Now, because of that, she created a business. She created an advertising agency by herself she hired the same freelancers to work for her to, for that particular product. And then she kept on adding to her team. Within a year, she had an um, office in Delhi and one more in Chennai. Okay, now, uh, what, what, why am I sharing this with you? The reason I'm sharing this is, it's just your own point of view that stops you from choosing more. Okay, what if you did not look at anything as an obstacle? What if you just kept on asking questions and just kept on choosing no matter what? What if nothing was impossible? Right? But most of us would have stopped because we would say, first, let us create an advertising agency. Now let us hire certain people. Let me have a working office space. And then only I can, once I have all these paraphernalia, everything in place is when I'll actually start choosing. You don't have to do all that. You start choosing all that you want to choose and all these other things will keep on getting added. And you don't wait for things to be perfect before you can choose. Just keep choosing, keep on moving, right? Things can keep on changing later on. You say, for example, you chose a particular office for your business. It might not be perfect, but at that moment, that's what was available and you chose that. So don't go on judging yourself. You always have the option to move into bigger office space later on, right? But get started with whatever it is. So don't wait to have everything right before you get to start. Just choose. Follow the whispers of that creation of that particular business, okay? Just create a title, just create a name, and then just go for it, okay? Do not overanalyze the content or the creation, okay? Do not conclude the location or the space or that particular creation. Don't, no conclusions, just start. I know it is a very uh, tough, not a very easy space to start from because you know we are all so uh, focused upon, this is how it has to be. If I'm creating something, it has to be perfect. It has to be like this. You just get started, okay? That's it. It's your confidence. It's your, the energy that you're being is what will create more for you. It'll create more clients. It'll create more revenue streams for you. The energy of you is what your business desires, not the rest of the paraphernalia. It's always good to have those things, but don't stop or limit yourself if you don't have that. That's the reason I was like, 
the space of creation, speed of creation. Just get started. Don't wait to have everything perfect. Okay. Say for example, you don't you don't have uh, you don't you you can always you can maybe if you cannot afford if you're just starting out initially you might not be able to afford um, people who are well established in their creation but you can always hire interns you can pay them you can offer them whatever it is that's required right you can offer them your services or you can offer a little percentage of what they will create for you but interns are good people to start with because they are willing and raring to go and start off with their creative um, pursuits okay so that might be a nice way to start they'll help you reach some space they will also have brilliant new ideas for you to implement in your business okay now what else so what do you what do you uh, sort of find yourself getting stuck with in your business Let's say, for example, when you are, um, say, let's talk about class creations, since quite a few of you are already part of Access here and are um, facilitators. So let me talk a little bit about class creations. And let's talk about how when you're engaging with hosts, okay, people who are hosting your classes for you. So what if you are always in question with your hosts, always? Don't just assume certain things about them. Do not cut off your awareness about them just because you love them or you like them. Always, always be in question. Be aware of where they're functioning from. If they are not willing, if they have certain points of view about creation of money, then they will make sure that they push away clients themselves because their own points of view about money is what is uh, what they're projecting onto the future clients. So be very aware of that. Be in allowance. Keep on pocket potting that so that you are present with them. Okay, now let's take for example, uh, what else? Be in question with them. Don't just hand over things to your host and withdraw energy from it. Your, your class requires your attention and energy all the time. Okay, so be present with that. Not because you don't trust your hosts, but because that class has an energy of it own right and it requires your energy that's what will attract more people and of course the hosts just add to that so be present with them treat them as your partner in business play with them okay be a mentor and a counselor and extrapolate with them so that they have ownership of that project and they are willing to choose more for themselves also you do not stop them from choosing you be an invitation and an inspiration for them to choose also more. That's what will create. Okay, and have them enjoy working with you. So what energy can you be, you all be together that can create amazing possibilities. That's the space you have to function from. It's not about stopping them. It's about being that space of extrapolation, like of that just choosing and creating more possibilities. Okay. So allow and also allow them to be the contribution that they can be. Do not control, okay? I'm saying that sometimes I do tend to control, but you have to have to be present and realize and acknowledge where you where are you controlling and where are you stopping <coughs> yourself from growing. So just be very aware of that. Okay. Now what else? Okay. So very important for your business. Destroy and create your relationship with energies of your business, teams, and others who make your life easier every day. Okay. It truly, truly works. Destroy and create your relationship and energies with your business, with your teams, with all those people who are actually being there and contributing to you. Destroy and create your relationship with them. Okay. Because what that does is all the little, um, insecurities or those little uh, issues that start uh, cropping up you're getting rid of it you're starting every day with the new uh, new energy okay so it really truly works so uh, uh smriti yeah who's this sorry yeah this is rajeshwari hi rajeshwari yes go ahead yeah, uh, could you please explain more on this? Like, uh, like I am feeling if I destroy and uncreate the relationship with my business, 
with my teammates and all that uh, uh, i don't know i'm feeling that okay i'm losing on it no what happens is um you can't ever lose which is actually there what is already what is true which is actually contributing to you right okay. only the lies will fall off first of all be oh. present with that secondly what happens is let's take for example in a regular relationship say a marriage okay what happens is there are certain expectations that you have from your husband or from your spouse or mm. from your wife okay now as the time grow goes you tend to keep on those those expectations might not be met and then you know you'll expect them to stand up for you say when there's some family um, maybe when your mother in law is uh, being um, a bit mean and nasty with you and you expect your husband to stand up for you and he chooses not to or he just turns a blind eye towards it so somewhere you'll hold on to that issue okay i'm just giving a random example here now those little issues keep on building up so somewhere you already have the judgment and a conclusion about where your spouse is functioning from because you like he will never take my side or he'll never stand up for me so some way you are uh, you know resenting that so what happens is similarly in business when you are working with your team they have certain expectations and you have certain expectations of them and then you start if if those expectations are not met then you tend to uh, hold on to those issues and then you start judging them based on that what creates more issues is your judgments about them and their judgments about you so when you are destroying and uncreating a relationship with them and your business is when you're letting go of everything that's not contributing to you you're letting go of all those judgments all those conclusions that you have about people every day you're starting a new with new energies with fresh ideas with so it's like you're working with a new team who's willing to contribute to you every time you will not lose people you will not lose things okay just be aware of that okay right. yes yes thank you thank you you're welcome okay so it's given in more detail in our foundation class if you have attended a foundation you'll um, it's explained much more dynamically there this is not the platform for me to be explaining that but uh, just just so that you know all right um now when you realize that your what if your life is your business okay so what if everything that you create in your life starts originating from that that's when multiple streams will flow with ease okay that's when you'll keep making choices because the creation of your life is also your business so like when i chose to go on that biking trip for 12 days i was energetically connected to my business but i wasn't advertising there was not enough uh, internet or not much network in those places um but i was energetically connected with it but that space where i was just uh, on that those trips and those places that i was visiting that was creating so much more for me at that moment so be present to that okay that is also the creation of your life what if you could make choices that is contributing where every molecule is choosing to contribute to your life be present with that the forest retreat that we went for it just i can't even begin to tell you how much it contributed to us to each one of the participants um i keep receiving messages from those participants and it's it just it just the only word i can say is a lot of gratitude for that particular creation right so don't judge how a particular creation has to look like just keep receiving that's what will create more the creation of your life is your business so what choices can you make right now to contribute to your life and your business and your relationships and your money flows with total ease everything that doesn't allow that will you destroy and uncreate it all please type down good bad pop pop all shots boys and girls also be present so what have you defined your business as is it a hobby is it a burden is it an obligation what is it be present with that because if you're looking at it as a hobby then you will keep creating people clients will come but who would not be willing to pay so you will keep on um, 
doing things for free for them because some way you've defined your business. Let's take, for example, your access business as hobby. So then you're wondering why there are no clients. It's because you're not even choosing to see it as your business. You're, it's more of a hobby for you, right? So be present with where are you defining your business? What are you, what is the energy you're being with your business? What is it creating for you? Okay, so everywhere you cannot see your uh, business as true business, just try and uncreate all your points of view about it, right from good, bad, what, pop, online shots, boys and girls. Everywhere you cannot see your access business as true business, will you destroy and uncreate it all, please? Right from yeah. good, bad, what, pop, online shots, boys and girls. Okay, and uh, keep every morning, keep asking yourself, okay, what would I like to create as my life and business? Everything that doesn't allow you to know, be perceived, and receive that with total ease. Will you now destroy and uncreate it all, please? Right, yeah. Trunko, bad, pop, pop, all in shots, boys and girls. Because if you're not doing that, if you're not asking that question, if you're not being present to the choices you're making, your life will just be on autopilot where others will be controlling. They will choose for you. And then you'll keep getting irritated because it's not fun, right? Be very, very aware of that, okay? Also, when you're choosing big, a larger life requires certain systems in place, okay? So you ask for, ask people who would support the lifestyle you're asking for. Ask those people to start showing up. So legal, accountant, marketing, technical programs, people who are good at that, you know? If you find yourself, if you find that you're stopping yourself because you don't have these systems in place, who can you hire? Who can you invite? You can hire interns. They can help create that for you. Okay? <laughs> also, when you're looking at traveling to multiple countries and uh, creating businesses there, are you familiar with the legalities of those countries? You need to be willing to educate yourself. Be very aware of certain things of whatever is required, okay? All right. Now, when we're coming to speed of creation, first thing you have to focus on, when you're really choosing to grow big, when you're really choosing to create, choose things that are, only do things that are fun for you. Because if it's not fun for you, you will find ways to get out of it. it you won't create, okay? Um, Find things, only do things that are fun for you, or don't do it. Or find someone else to do it for you, okay? If it must be done, that is. And then what would it take for it to be ease and fun? What do you have to be and do? What are the things, what are the aspects of that particular business that are fun for you? Maybe you can choose to um, play a bigger role in that aspect and hire things, people or in turn for things that are not fun for you, okay? and. Uh, Again, fun is just a point of view. It's either fun or it's not fun. Any point of view is also just a point of view. So just be very aware of that. Okay, now make a demand of you that no matter what, I will consistently keep on choosing more and more and more. Are you willing to be so curious that you keep asking questions all the time with your business? It's, it's just that energy that you're being when you're willing to choose big, okay? So the more you add to, to your life, the more fun it can become, okay? So what else can you add? What are the different multiple streams, revenue streams that you can add to your business? What will be fun for you, okay? Just know the universe has your back. The more you demand, the more you're not willing to give up, the more the universe will be there contributing to you. The universe just responds to the vibration that you're being. Whatever it is that you're choosing for yourself, that energy is what the universe is responding to. So if you're focused on why you can't create or not enough money, then if you're focused on not enough money, then that's what the universe is giving you more of because the universe thinks this is what this person likes. So just be present to that, okay? And the universe, as I mentioned, has your back. It's willing to give you whatever you want, but are you willing to receive? Are you willing to ask big enough? So everything that doesn't allow each one of you to choose and ask big. 
and receive it with total ease. Will you not destroy and uncreate it at all, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, what, pop, all I shots, boys and girls. Always look for elegant and simple ways to create your life, okay? And there is elegance in everything, including the systems that you institute, okay? So you use money to create different possibilities, use people to create different possibilities and don't rely on any specific part of your business. Just be aware of everything and keep on choosing more and more and more, okay? So what do you mean by elegance? Anyone? What do you mean by elegance? So elegance usually is where you create the greatest impact with the least effort. So are you willing to have the elegance in the creation of your business? Everything that doesn't allow that with total ease, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Please write down good, bad, pop, pop, all insurance, boys and beyonds. Cool, any questions? Any one of you? Yes, Sonal, sorry, I, I missed seeing your message. Yes, Sonal, go ahead. Yes, Smriti, I actually realized uh, when I give bar sessions, I get a lot of shoulder pain. And that's the okay. reason you know, I avoid <laughs> giving sessions and rather not tackling you with the issue. Whatever it is, I'm not willing to ask questions. This is a very uh, convenient way of avoiding sessions and not and I'm aware also what's there on shoulders also. What is what is what is I got to do? Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, where are you choosing to shoulder the responsibility of whatever, whoever client you're working on? Where are you taking on their issues? Everything that is, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shots, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, your body, the moment you touch the client, mm -hmm. their body starts giving you information. So what information is your body giving you at that moment? So you, the first thing you say is, Thank you, body, for this information. And now can you send it all back to the sender with consciousness attached? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shots, boys and girls. Okay, you do not have to pull issues out of other people and into your own body. Just thank your body for making you aware and now send it all back to the sender. So that should do the trick. These two things should work. Because I know, because the earlier when I used to run bars on people, the moment I would just sort of, Touch them is when my body will start giving me information about them. This one has a sore throat or pain in, you know, knees are paining or neck or whatever. They might have spondylitis or something. So you'll, you'll, your body will start mimicking those symptoms. So just know that. Acknowledge how potent you are and how potent you are, how aware your body is. And just thank your body and just send it all back. Who does it belong to? Send it all back. So that should do the trick mostly. Who does it belong to? I just, I mean, like me. Huh. <laughs> Whatever you run away from is what will keep on uh, um, being there for you. So yes, who? By running the bars, we just have to, uh, inside only we have to speak who does this belongs to, send it back to the original. Yeah, if you're feeling uncomfortable, if you're perceiving... Uh, stiffness or pain or aches or headache or something just do that okay it might not be it might not be actually taking on the issues of your client it might you might just be aware of someone from few kilometers away also so it doesn't really yeah cool so uh what else thank you Ready? yes who's this yes hey. shilpa shilpa yes you were talking about elegance in your business can you talk a little more about that that that's like yeah it's a very yummy energy, yeah. So uh, elegance is the ease with which you're creating. Simple. So we tend to, when, when we're creating something, it's about uh, having the greatest impact with the least effort. It's about making choices which will create so much more. And the reason you're able to create with elegance is because, uh, you know, we keep judging ourselves. We think we don't, we're not good at certain things, but when we are creating, we are usually, what is fun for us? Things that are easy, right? Things that we think have no value, but others would pay a whole lot of money for. So that is where you, when you're choosing to create the things that you think are, don't really have value, 
but it comes easily to you. That's when you're choosing to create with elegance. Wow, this was not even the, the meaning that I was operating with elegance so far. Yep. Wow. So elegance was all about being in, like the way I used to perceive it is being in a certain way. That also, uh, also willing to have ease with everything. It doesn't have to be difficult, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. let's take, for example, sometimes when I'm conducting those business on different classes, for me, those classes are inviting people to a totally different possibility. So when I'm looking for venues for conducting a business on different class, I look for opulence. I look for a space of... Uh, so a very contributive space and literally um, otherwise also like a lot of space, right? Like where I just conducted the retreat recently where, where we are, I'm conducting another retreat on 15th, uh, same place close to Pune. That space is so huge and uh, there are the beings of light contributing to that class. There's so many other elements contributing to that class that invites the participants to choosing even much more things that they would never even have thought of, right? So people will keep looking at money or whether they have it or not, or issues that are bothering them. But what if you were willing to let go of those conclusions and judgments and were just willing to take that leap and choose? So that's, that when I'm conducting classes, I operate from that space, okay? Leap, guys, just choose more there's so much more to life than what you're choosing to hold yourself back for and that's that's that space of elegance let me put it that way so people who are willing to have that whether they are aware of it or not end up choosing it okay so when you're creating something always be a space of invitation so in a way um, it's like uh, you know when i am in that space of elegance um, I, as a matter of, as a matter of fact, you know, start choosing for having a greater reality for myself. So that's, right. is that what elegance, yes. is that yes. what we're talking about? Choosing a greater reality for yourself. Like, I don't care if no one shows up for that class. I'm choosing that place. I'm going. And even if no one shows up, I will still create for myself. Yeah. Yes, it would mean spending a whole lot of money. But what would that create? So what greater future can I choose and actualize? So I do not, when I'm, when I'm talking about elegance of creation, I do not wait for others to choose me. I just choose what I'd like to choose or I choose what I know is possible and I just invite people to that. Do you get it? Yeah. I'm willing to take that leap. I'm willing to spend that kind of money. Whether I have that or not is a material I will create. It's about trusting yourself. It's about trusting yourself. Uh, you said that whether anybody's choosing it or not, I'm choosing it for myself. Anybody will come or not, I'll go there. Yes, so, I'm aware of certain possibilities and I will choose that. So whether anybody else chooses it or not is immaterial. Still, mm -hmm. you will be there and you will... Yes. Like the forest retreat, okay? It, it was... Um, I mean we had committed because a lot of people opted to choose that last minute, right? But we had to book the rooms and everything. It wasn't easy to just, it, it required a lot of uh, efforts to coordinate and stuff. Most people like in access choose tend to uh, choose certain classes last minute, right? But that you, we had to book the rooms well in advance and those were non-negotiable. Like we couldn't uh, back off after a certain point. And so I was like, it's fine, we will go. So it was more than two and a half lakhs, which we were, we were, I was just like, that's it, I don't care. If nobody shows up, I'm choosing because I know I'm aware of that energy of that class. And of course people showed up last minute and they did show up and we had such a brilliant time. But you have to take that leap, do you get it? Follow your awareness, follow the energy, because that is an invitation for more people to choose. Do you get it? If I focused on 
how much money I lose, then I will not create anything. Do you get it? Yeah. If I'm focusing on the possibilities, then I'm inviting more people to that possibilities. And I'm willing to take that risk because I'm willing to follow that energy. I don't know how to explain it, but this is, this is how I create. And uh, it always, always, always opens up so much spaces. You know, it's just, you're not only just facilitating, you're also growing as a person. And you're inviting others to that space of possibilities. Yeah. So, Thanks. yep. I, I don't know, Shilpa, if that made sense. But uh, yeah, you were part so, of it. You were part yeah. of it. Maybe you can talk about what the class created for everyone. So, you know, that yeah. space. Yeah, so, you know, so uh, uh, what now when you're really talking about the space of, you know, elegance, what that class did to me was like like you started off saying you know you chose and that itself was an inspiration for people like us to really choose that so none of us know who we are silently you know inspiring and what that class actually showed for me is to genuinely want to have a greater life you know and uh, of course this the talk to the entity class that we did and you know the space and the animals the contribution that they they be um, and how we were like really, you know, shuttling between our safaris and the class and then a safari. And then, you know, like I was choosing, you know, should I go for the safari or should I skip? So, you know, that whole entire experience was about really being honest with ourselves and seeing what we are not choosing and then making a greater choice. So I guess that class contributed to me. Of course, it's beyond words and it's still sinking in, but it's about there should be no reason, there, there is no good enough reason for you to not choose greater. And if you're not choosing to have the elegance of life, I think what elegance does to you is it's, it, it gets you to step up or, you know, choose greater rather. It gets you to invite everything possible into your life without yeah. making reasons why you can't have that. Yeah. Where, who's decided you can't have certain things in your life? You're the only one deciding that. And what's the value of choosing that? And, and the space that those animals were, like, they, it was amazing. And it's just, a, it's just such a beautiful class. I am just so grateful for that creation. And yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. and I, I want to keep saying this every time I, I, I can, that, you know, we left the forest, but the forest hasn't left us. I mean, all of us, uh, I think my level of entity, you know, my level of entity is interacting with animals, receiving, my receiving has gone up. Because I guess I, you know, they very amazingly taught me how to receive. And you know, we, we yeah, because you, we saw the tiger who was just six to seven feet away from us. And towards the end of the evening safari, and we were like, okay, now we won't sight anything. And there he was. He was just there, just sitting. And I think we were there for almost 20 minutes or maybe more. We, we were just there. We were literally hanging out of the window. Just He was just six, seven feet away from us. He was brilliant. He was just so gorgeous. And that space that he was, there's so much we received from him, from that tiger. I can't even tell you. And when we got back home, when we got back to our rooms, it was like, you know, man, the strip has been worth it. That whole, it was like, it was just worth it. That those, as if it was your molecules in your body were just melting. That's what we received from that animal, which is, uh, which is really amazing. Because, you know, one thing about those animals, especially those predators, are they are not willing to make themselves less for anyone they are they they are brilliant they are gorgeous and they know their worth they just know it know what they are all about and they command that like they literally command that you can't take your eyes off them they are just so gorgeous so that's that space is what i would invite each one of you to choose for yourself where people when you walk into a room nobody should be able to take their eyes off you Right? Are, are you guys willing to be that energy? Everything that doesn't allow that, with total ease, let's destroy and uncreate it all. Please, right from good, bad, what for, calling shots, boys and beyonds. So instead of focusing on all the things that might be wrong with you, focus on the gift that you are, the brilliance of you, and own it. 
cool awesome that's a nice note to stop the club the call now and uh, yeah so in case any one of you are choosing to attend some classes with me i have a foundation retreat coming up on 25th of november till 28th it will be in a uh, it's a residential retreat in a place close to pune in case any one of you choosing to attend a business run different that's on 15th to 17th 15 to 18th actually um that's again in that beautiful gorgeous property near pune um and what else is there and then there are these uh, in case you want to attend online classes there are there's a getting out of debt joyfully class which is coming up which start on 9th of november we have a very less time for you guys to start for that there'll be two calls a month every 15 days there'll be a call it's a brilliant beautiful class it creates amazing changes and then my most favorite is the fast track your business which we are starting by 25th of or 22nd of november uh, it will be weekly calls and yeah you can check out smritigoswami.com for more details or connect with shilpa or anisha for more details so thank you so much i'll see you guys next week with another call just know what you're learning or whatever you're receiving in these calls is just maybe 1% of what these classes will create for you so just know that and thank you so much everyone and i'll see you soon again and just know that i'm very very grateful for each one of you yeah thank you pretty thank you to see thank you to see you again thank you thank you smriti thank you thank you so much smriti thank you thank you thank you smriti thank you thank you